Okay, let's talk percent composition. Now, percent composition is going to be something based on mass. Okay, so I'm even going to put in parentheses by mass. Let's see what it's talking about. Suppose you want to look at the molecule carbon dioxide CO2. When I say percent composition, we're not saying, well, three atoms, carbon is one of the three, so it's one third carbon. No, you're not looking at numbers of atoms, you're looking at the mass. So, really, if I'm calculating percent composition, what we're trying to find is what percent of the mass of each molecule comes from carbon, and what percent of the mass from each molecule comes from oxygen in this particular case. So, here's how you go about doing it. It's all going to involve molar mass, so you will have to look this up on the periodic table. Now, carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. Oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole. Now, uh, because there's two of them and one of these, we're going to say the total mass of the molecule is 12.01 plus 16.00 plus 16.00. That's one carbon, one oxygen, plus the other oxygen is a grand total of, let's see, what is that, 44.01 grams per mole, is that right? Well, let's see. Yes, 44.01 grams per mole. Okay, that's total mass. So I want to find out what percent of the 44.01 grams per mole is carbon and what percent of the 44.01 grams per mole is the oxygen. That's the percent composition I'm looking for. So here we go. Um, let's look at carbon. So anytime I want to do percent composition, I want to do uh, the element you're looking at or element of interest divided by, I should say, molar mass of element of interest, divided by total molar mass. And then you times it by 100%. So here we go. Let's do this with carbon. So 12.01 grams per mole is the molar mass of carbon. Divide that by a grand total molar mass of 44.01 grams per mole. And I'll times that by 100%. Okay, so let's look at what that looks like on a calculator. So I got 12.01 divided by 44.01. That's the decimal form times by 100% times 100. And that's the percent that carbon makes of the entire molecule's mass. So carbon contributes 27 point, let's see, we got four sig figs, four sig figs. So we'll call this four sig figs here. We'll say 27.29% carbon. Okay, now there's only two elements. They have to add up to 100%. So I could just take 100% minus this and find out what percent oxygen is. But I'll, I'll apply this process to oxygen as well, just for the sake of clarity. So oxygen, there's two oxygens, and each one is 16.00 grams per mole. That's our element of interest. Okay, that's what goes on top. On bottom, total molar mass, right there, 44.01, so 44.01 grams per mole times 100% equals, and then we can calculate it out. Okay, so 2 times 16 is 32, divided by 44.01, 72.71% oxygen. Now, I did mention that shortcut earlier. Let me just do that for you. Um, I did say that you could, instead of running through this whole thing, if there's only two elements, the percentages have to add up to 100. So you could say, if you know it's 27.29% carbon, 100% minus 27.29% carbon is, uh, well, here, I'll show you. 100 minus 27.29 is 72.71% everything else. Okay, so this is the total. This is the percent carbon. So it, if you subtract out the percent carbon, this is the percent that is not carbon. That is everything else. Now, in this particular molecule, 
It's only one thing other than carbon, just oxygen. So uh, it's another way to get to the same answer. This will not really work so well if you got like three or four elements, so if it's a more complicated molecule. However, for this sort of thing, it works just fine.